everyone, my name is Selva. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to another speed build. I hope you are all doing well and having such a wonderful day. So today we are building in the world of Brindleton Bay because today we are building a pet whisperer house. I know it's kind of pun intended but this house actually inspired by an old show that I watched when I was like, I don't know teens i think or yeah i think teens called the dog whisperer i think that's the right uh, title i'm not sure though but i will google that later on and i put the right name if i was incorrect but anyway um there was this tv show that i watch on i think national geographic i'm not sure but i think it is Basically, he kind of like helps people to understand their dogs, what the odds behavior their dogs have and those kind of things. So I want to build something inspired by that story. So this is the house in Brindleton Bay, of course, who dedicate their lives to help people with their pets. I think it's a beautiful story though. So it's either cats or dogs or whatever because up until now we only have cats and dogs as the pets but we'll be getting chicken and I don't know cows and I'm not sure are we able to have um, foxes and what is the other one rabbits as pets or no I'm, I'm not sure I mean with the new expansion pack that will be released in about two weeks from now i think so that's the background story and to be honest i don't know what kind of style this house is i think it's kind of a it's kind of a cabin but a little bit modern but it's not too modern though if you are an interior designer or maybe an architect Please let me know what type of style this house is because I am not either of both and I just try to building something that looks decent and that's it. So um, this is a one bedroom, one bathroom situation here but this house is quite long and I think this is actually the first build that I've ever made with my new PC, I think. It's not new anymore because it's been a couple of weeks now, but this is the first build, not the Brooks Lane family house one. This is the, actually the first one, but I only use um, base game, of course, Cats and Dogs, Outdoor Retreat, and Backyard Stuff Pack on this build. So if you have those three and you want to download this build, you're good to go. But I tried to limit the packs that I use because recently I built with a ton of packs even though a few weeks ago I built a base game family house which is base game only but I've been wanting to build a more restricted packs build so here we are now building in Brindleton Bay with only three packs so um the house is not that big though even though this is a 30 by 20 lot this is actually the like uh, hidden area in the Brindleton Bay, if that makes any sense. I don't know what the neighborhood is, but I think you know which lot this is. So at first I was kind of confused what type of style should I do on this build because I think Brindleton Bay has this very um, barn-ish style if that makes any sense they're very traditional like barn converted house and um craftsman houses those kind of thing but if you watch some of my builds you know that i am such a terrible builder with traditional houses i don't know why but i'm just so bad at traditional houses or traditional style builds in general i'm I like more contemporary style. I don't know, it's just my thing. But once in a while, I try to build more traditional houses and I always ended up hating it. So anyway, I decided to build a kind of a traditional but updated version. So it's kind of a traditional lean towards modern. I don't know if that's the correct term for this whole style. But anyway, 
we are now on the bedroom and the bedroom is quite not that big it's not very spacious but it does the job i try to play test everything and everything just works fine not very surprisingly because i didn't clutter like crazy on this build and also we have a huge backyard and side yard side yard mostly because i put this house on the or the belts actually on the um, side of the lot and not the very center so you have a lot of um, part for i don't know maybe train the dogs or maybe to do some yoga if you have spa day but i didn't put the um yoga mat because this is a restricted packs build so you can do that but anyway it didn't take me that long to finish this build it only took me about one and a half hours which is quite fast because i've never built anything that i mean with base game and restricted packs build i tend to be a little bit faster and quicker with the builds i think that's because I don't have a lot of options which is sometimes good but most of the times it's 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 fine it's not the greatest but it's fine and here we are now on the side ish yard side to backyard if that makes any sense so I use this I think this is a debug fences I think I'm not sure but I think it is so I put a lot of um, debug landscaping here because cats and dogs has one of the best debug landscaping ever besides um, the Windenburg one, what is that? Get Together and also the base game and but 2. I know that's very controversial but I love the debug items, debug landscaping especially from Star Wars pack. It's just one of my most favorite but since a lot of people don't have that, I try to not use that that often. So. We are just basically um, put the terrain paints here and there and we'll be heading on to the screenshot. Oh my god, this is such a fast speed build and I didn't speed it up that much. It's just five times, which is very normal. So anyway, if you want to download this build as usual, this has been up on the Sinswar Gallery. You could find it under my EID, which is Alfadiara, or under the hashtag PlamySims. You could also click the link in the description box below that will bring you to the website gallery as well as the other link to grab the tray files from Simple Share. So yeah, I really hope you did enjoy this video and if you do, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also, make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already because that will help me a lot and I will really appreciate it. And if you want to, you could also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video and yeah. I'm going to wrap this voiceover right now. I couldn't believe that this is this fast. But anyway, I'm gonna sign off right now. Thank you so, so much for joining me today and supporting my channel. Enjoy the rest of the video and the screenshots. And I'll see you in the next video.